Well, let's now look at Rappler's Wrap for today, a list of the 10 most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. At number five, rescue workers struggle to find survivors from a powerful quake in southwest China this weekend as the number of those dead and missing rose past 200. But the rescue operation is hampered by huge lines of traffic clogging roads into the disaster zone. China's new premier Li Keqiang says the first 24 hours are, quote, the golden time for saving lives. More than 1,100 aftershocks followed since the quake struck Saturday morning. At number six, the death toll from the H7N9 bird flu virus in China reaches 20 with dozens infected. State media says the new strain of bird flu is detected in 102 people, mostly in eastern China. The Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention earlier said 40% of patients with H7N9 did not come into contact with poultry raising questions about how people can get the virus. Experts fear the virus may mutate into a form that can spread from human to human. And at number seven, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says the United States will provide Syrian rebels $123 million in aid as foreign ministers discuss how to help the opposition in Syria's civil war. At a meeting with Western and Middle Eastern ministers in Istanbul, Kerry says a portion of the aid will be used to provide non-lethal supplies to the military wing of the National Coalition of Syrian Revolutionary and Opposition Forces. The United States' new aid will add to the food rations and medical supplies it pledged to give the military wing of the Syrian resistance. For the full top 10, visit Rapper.com's The Rap. A zombie run in Manila redefines the meaning of charity fatigue as runners run for fun, Mother Earth, and a killer costume. Devin Wong returns. Are you guys ready to run? Running might be an intimidating sport for some, but what better way to start than putting your sweat towards raising money and the dead for charity? 7,000 runners take to the streets of Manila to participate in what only can be described as training for a zombie apocalypse. Aspiring zombies sent in audition tapes from across the country for the chance to live out the role of a lifetime, playing the undead. But runners are equally prepared to run for their lives. We'll definitely be a lot more tired, I think. The Philippines ranks among the top 20 most generous countries in the world, according to the most recent report by the World Giving Index and only second to Indonesia within Asia. The unique event is a creative effort by organizers to get people active about giving. Zombies and runners agree to put their differences aside for a night to raise money for Greenpeace and a common cause they both call home, the Earth. Zombies are scary, but they're environmentally conscious also. So with Earth Day coming up, we didn't just raise the living dead, but we raised money for a green cause. The event raises endorphins for participants who get to enjoy twice the feel-good factor. It's, a, it's actually a fun activity, so if the money goes to a charitable institution, um, we'll definitely run again for the next outbreak run. <laughs> Organizers say they'll continue thinking outside the box and beyond to get people energized for a good cause. Devin Wong, Rappler, Manila. Every story on Rappler has a mood meter which gives you eight emotions to choose from. Click how you feel and your vote comes down to the mood navigator in the middle of the front page that crowdsources the mood of the day. It also gives you the top 10 stories that have gotten the most votes on their mood meter, meaning these are the stories that have made Filipinos, our readers, feel. So if we take a look today, as you can tell, it's a red day. Top story, the Boston bombings, when terrorism is a click away, you have 59% afraid, but 11% angry. And the story that's gotten the most number of clicks is this one, politics, our second story, Binay Villar break into the top three, that's the SWS survey, a whopping 70% angry, 13% um, annoyed, 6% sad, and 5% happy, 2% um, afraid, that's 70% angry, leading to the mood of the day today. Most people are angry. Well, that's Rappler's newscast for day, Monday, April 22, 2013. Visit Rappler.com and watch our newscast Monday to Friday. Tell us how you feel on our mood meter and help us crowdsource the mood of the day. I'm Maria Ressa. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.